channel so today i'm going to be doing a kind of tashi's tips tashi's editing type videos i posted this photo i actually posted it on my story and on my second account 24 inspo and you guys so many dms about how to do this glitter thing i've seen this effect loads on instagram at the moment there's quite a few accounts that post just this kind of stuff like for example art underscore ed well, I don't know how to say that word. I'll, I'll leave them on the screen and you can see like what I mean here. Um, they do this kind of thing. Not all of them, but like they have. I saw it on here. So like this, like Kim Kardashian one with the the what's this called? Towel. This made of glitter. Um, so I've seen it on here. I've seen it on other pages, but more just on my explore page. That's the only one they actually know the name of. So if you know any accounts that are great for this, then obviously leave them in the comments down below. Um, but I am going to show you how to do it. Now I personally do this on my iPad Pro using my Apple Pencil just because I think it's quicker and easier and I'm really blind even with my glasses on so I just find it easier but you can also totally use this app on your iPhone. So the app that I use is called, I'll leave it on the screen, it's called, I think, well, I'm going to say Meitu? Meitu. I, hopefully that's right. Um, I'm going to use my iPad though, it is the exact same app, it's obviously just bigger on my screen and if I use it on my iPad then it just means I can use my pencil, so that is why I do it. So I'm just going to open up my, can I record my phone screen on here? I hope I can. Okay, I figured it out, I just hadn't added it, so record phone screen. I haven't actually got much battery on this at all. Okay, so this is the app right here down the bottom, you can see because I have been using it. So it's this one. So when you get it, open it, it looks like this, and then we just go to edit. So the end basically is going to open photo. I'm going to do this one because I feel like it would look quite cool on the hat. But I feel like any photo works. I did, obviously, the one I showed you, and I'll show you one other one I did as well once I've done this one. So all you want to do is you want to go down to the bottom, and you want to go to this one here called Mosaic. Click. And then you can pick like what what you want it to fill it with basically like what texture you want to fill it with so if you want the one i used and the glitter one which i think is the coolest it is this one here so just tap on that there is loads that you can use though there's like a whole shop and they're all free as far as i know like every one i clicked on was free this is to change your size so you can see on the screen it's like changing the size of your font what i like to do is i bring it down to the smallest then i zoom right in and I go around the edge first using my pen, but obviously, as I said, you can you can do like this on your iPhone as well. It does have a little bit of a, I, I don't know if it's just in my head, I feel like it does have a little bit of a, um, like when you get near an edge, it gives you a bit of a restriction. But yeah, I just like to go around the edges first because I just think that's just, oh, see, can you see there, I've gone over it. So just go to a razor and then just a razor. Um, so yeah, don't worry if you make a mistake. I'm gonna do this obviously fairly roughly because otherwise this video is super long. Um, but yeah, as I said, I feel like it has got a slight restriction because on my the um, the hat I did because the background was a really similar color, it took me ages to do that one. Whereas this one, because it's quite contrasty, I feel like I'm being quite rough and it's just letting me just do my thing. And then I'm going to move in and go around the candle as well. It's harder because I feel like the texture of the hat almost blends in, so it's hard to see where I've gone. It's definitely got a bit of a restriction on it. So you can zoom right in to get those little bits like there. Okay, so then once you've gone right on the edges, I then go to the biggest one to fill it in. So you can see it's pretty huge now. You still have to be kind of careful, but like, you know. Oh my God, this is gonna look so sick. Peeny. So yeah, as I said, you could do this with anything. I'm just using this example. I do think it works good. Have I gone over the edge there or is that the shape of the hat? I think I've gone over the edge, no? 
yeah. So just erase that bit, go smaller, get that little edge there. Okay. And that is it. Have I got everywhere? Um, yeah, I think I have. Oops. Is that bit right there? No, that was wrong. Oh, I did go over the edge quite a lot there. Bear in mind also, I haven't got my glasses on right now, so I can't really see what I'm doing, but you get the idea. And that is literally it, guys. That is how, I mean, how fucking sick does that look? <laughs> I think it looks really cool. So you just click the tick and then save. And then this one up the top here, save, done. Go back to your camera roll. There it is. So that is how quick and easy it is to do. The other one I did do um, was this one. So it's a swimwear shop, which I've never, at, oops, I've never actually posted this photo. I probably will now, but I haven't. Um, so I just made the whole swimwear like that, which looked really cool. So there's that one. I actually, I did this one super quick, so it's a bit rough around the edges, but that is another one I did do. I did with this one, I did it like that, and then I thought maybe I'd do some shading. So I did do this as well. What do you think's better? I don't know. I think it's better just as is, like like this. And then I did just go around the edges to see if that works. But yeah, I think just as is is better. But I mean, the shading's kind of cool. It makes it look quite cartoony, which I think is quite sick. But yeah, so that's how quick and easy it is to do, guys. It's a super fun and creative way to just add something extra to your photo. Um, I wouldn't say I would use this that much on actual Instagram. Maybe it's as, as like a one-off. I haven't actually posted one on my Instagram yet. I might for this video. <laughs> um, but super cool for just like a different edit on a story or just a post on your feed as a grid post. Like why not go for it? Super fun and creative. So that's everything for this video, guys. I really hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.